Hey, good morning. Dr. Tomlinson here at Fairly Animal Hospital, where we are discussing a few things about starting this puppy. And Brie Ratliff is with me today. She's one of our veteran veterinary nurses. And we, our last, this video, we want to discuss a little bit about biosecurity, vaccinations, and the safety of this puppy, as well as the safety of the other dogs that may be in your home, in your extended family, or in your neighborhood. And so, uh, one of the things I like to remind everybody is, is that in rural West Virginia, we have a lot of unvaccinated dogs and want to make sure we really are going out of our way to protect this puppy from unvaccinated dogs, the traffic of unvaccinated dogs, unvaccinated dogs owners as far as what they're wearing on their feet or their shoes or their visits. And so we want to make sure that we're protecting this puppy. So. Uh, Bree, you want to talk to us for a minute about where, where we can go? What is safe? Um, we don't want to go out to any dog parks. Um, you can take them outside to go potty. Uh, you don't want to leave them outside for a very long time um, with them not being vaccinated. So pretty much in our house, um, whenever you do bring them into the vet clinic, uh, we do prefer with the small puppies to keep them in your hand just because we do have sick patients that do come in. Um, and if your puppy is unvaccinated, keeping them in your arms um, up on the exam table until we can get uh, all of the puppy series vaccines in them. And that's a great reminder <clears throat> that Bree brings up. They're, they're actually coming to the veterinary hospital and how we want to make sure we're really, really being picky about what that puppy's exposed to. We're going to start those vaccines just as soon as you get home. We want you to give us a call so we can go ahead and schedule those appointments and explain to you what that means for immunization. We've discussed in another video our food and feeding, how we want you to start your crate training in a secure, safe environment. But today we want to make sure that that puppy is not exposed to any strange dogs, any unvaccinated dogs. I typically prefer that these dogs are only exposed to the dogs in your home if they're vaccinated and no visitors. Uh, as far as people that may have dogs that are unvaccinated, like Bree said, no dog parks, no long walks through the neighborhood. We want to minimize contact with other dogs. Um, anything else that you can think of? No. Yeah. Okay, well, we'll plan on seeing you on your first visit.